Here's how to set up GitHub version control with your project. This is important if you want to collaborate with others. And even if you're working alone, it's great to be able to go back to previous versions. I will be demonstrating this with the good old game engine, but the process should be similar with any game engine. So let's dive in. Go to github.com and sign up for an account if you haven't already. Next, you want to go to desktop.github.com and download GitHub Desktop. This is the application we will be using to work with our project hosted on GitHub through our desktop. And before we do anything else, and how I like doing it, is having all my GitHub projects inside of documents and having a folder in there called GitHub. Inside of here, I have all my projects. It's just to keep it organized and know where my projects are. So now we can open up our Godot project and with all our precious files, and we wanna go to res and right click res and do open in file manager. This will pop up the file manager and you want to click up here to get the path and copy the path. Now we can open up GitHub desktop and in the top left go to current repository and open this up and you will see add. You want to click add and you want to create a new repository. And here you can name your repository, whatever you want. And here you can also give it a description and you want to paste in the path that we copied earlier and paste it in there. And you can also initialize the repository with a readme. I like doing this and you can just put some information in there about what the project is about. And then on git ignore, you want to search up for Godot. There's also for Unity and Unreal here. Just for all sorts of things. Godot. Select Godot or whatever thing you're using. And if you have a license for a project, you can select that here as well. And now we can create repository. And now we created a repository. We need to publish the repository to GitHub. So we're gonna click publish repository. If you wanna keep it private, keep it private and uncheck this if you wanna make it public. Most of the time you probably wanna keep it private. You can still add team members to a private repository. So don't worry about that. And we can hit publish repository. Now go to show in explorer and hit this up button to go out of the folder. And now if you select everything except the repository we created and you drag it into the folder we created and you can just replace if there is a duplicate of anything. And now everything should be inside of the folder. So if we go back so we can push our initial commit, you want to give it a name and you can also give it a description. Most of the time you want to just keep it short and simple on what you did in the commit and you want to commit often. So let's hit commit and you can push this now. Now we can show in explorer and copy the path for this one and open up Godot again. And we can hit import and paste the path and open up the project and import and edit. Now we have our project here and also the readme we added earlier, so that's perfect. I can create a new scene here and just to demonstrate, we're gonna add a CSG box and save this. Let's call it uh, example. Here we see the example scene and now if we commit this example scene, commit and we go back into Godot and we move the cube and save. It's gonna show up that we've moved the cube and I just realized that it gave me a example for um, the name of the commit. So we can just hit commit since it recognized what we did. But most of the time you want to put in what you did. So now we can just commit this and push it. And if there's something that you did that you want to undo, you can go to history and right click on that commit. And you can do revert changes in commit and push that. If we open up Godot again now, we will see the cube if we reload, gonna move back to the original position. I'll also leave a resource on how you can remove commits entirely. I also like that you can check out commits. That's a pretty cool thing. So you can do checkouts and this doesn't uh, affect your project. Now, if you go into GitHub, you can click in your profile and go to your repositories, find the repository you made and open that up. You will now see the project and you can go to settings and collaborators and here's how you add people 
So if you hit add, you want to search for the GitHub username or input their email. So for example, I'll add my teammate and invite collaborator. Then you hit add to this repository and they will now be invited to the repository. You can either copy the invite and send it to them, but they will also get a notification in the top right. And if you have any further questions, leave a comment down below. And that's all for GitHub version control. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.